Once upon a time, in the middle of an immaculate winter, a queen was walking through the snow that fell on snow already fallen. She came to a bush of roses all in flower, and as she reached out to pluck a red rose, she pricked her finger on a thorn. She watched as her blood dripped onto the freshly fallen snow. I wish I had a child with lips as red as blood, thought the queen, with skin as white as snow and hair as black as a raven's feather. A few years passed and the queen was finally granted her wish. Her baby had lips as red as blood, skin as white as snow and hair as black as a raven. I shall call this child Snow White, thought the queen. Not long after making her wish, the queen died in childbirth. A year passed and the king remarried. His new queen was beautiful, but arrogant and cruel. She was an enchantress who had bewitched a mirror to only speak the truth. Every day the vain queen would ask the mirror, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And every day the mirror would reply, Why, it is you, my queen, you are the fairest in the land. And thus the years passed. The queen became more and more cruel to Snow White, whom she hated above all things, and she banished the child to the top of the tallest tower in the kingdom. But in her stone cage, Snow White grew more and more beautiful, and on the eve of her 16th birthday, the queen asked the mirror, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? To her horror, the mirror replied, Why, Snow White is the fairest in the land. At this news, the queen flew into a vicious rage and swore she would kill Snow White. And that is where our pantomime begins. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please sit back and enjoy as Far Out Theatre presents to you Snow White and the Seven Whores! in the land and the last time I saw something like you I flushed it. What do you mean you simpering little sissy? Don't you mean that I am the fairest in the fatherland? I mean look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at my face. Look at my eyebrow. Look at my tits. Bitch. If I had a face like yours, I'd sue my plastic surgeon. You're so thick, hun, that even Katie Price is jealous. Snow White is the fairest in the land, thus she is the most beautiful. How can this be? I have been the most beautiful creature in all the fatherland for eternity. I will not let this little dweeb take my title away from me. No, I must kill her. Kill her and eat her heart. Oh, I will not let Snow White's tight vagina get the better of me. <sighs> oh, fuck of peasants. But how will I do it, I hear you ask? I know. My furry little helper can assist. Did I? 
Yes, your majesty. Diddle, isn't it about time you got rid of that revolting piece of shit? I ran it over in my tank last week. It's starting to smell and it has flies crawling around its eyes. Oh, please, your highness, don't make me get rid of him. He's my only friend. You make me sick, both of you. Just keep that small, testicle little freak away from me. Now, I have a new task for you. Oh, please, your highness. I only just got the stitches removed after last time. Quit your whining. I'm not talking about the Hoover link. Well, not today, anyway. No, the task I have in mind is far more dastardly. Far more depraved. What? More depraved than shoving Henry the Hoover at Piddle's arse? You should have seen the look on his face. He'd only just come out of the closet. Shut the fuck up! Oh. What? Now, I want you to go upstairs and take that little bitch out of her tower. But you said I weren't allowed to go near her. Well, you're on the list. Well, today is your lucky day, Diddle. For today it is Snow White's 16th birthday. So you can go near her as much as you want to. Now, I want you to take her to Bishop's Itchington. There you will find the most desolate, darkest, pissed filled alley. And you will kill her. Kill her and cut out her heart and diddle. Whatever you do with her dead body is none of my business. <laughs> Ding fucking dumb! I'm going for my milk enema to calm my nerves. When I am done, you better be back with that heart. Otherwise, it will be a night in the Iron Maiden for you. Oofed! What are you going to do, Diddle? I don't know, Fiddle. I think I've got a Diddle Snow White Fiddle. Yeah! Then maybe I can have a cheeky Fiddle. Right. Here's the plan. Diddle and Fiddle are going to Fiddle then Diddle. Then remove her middle. Then fiddle and diddle. I'm gonna diddle then fiddle. Then make a diddle. Fiddle. Otherwise we'll end up in a piddle. I'm sorry. I didn't quite understand that. Can you say it again, please? Right. Fiddle and diddle. I'm gonna diddle and fiddle and remove her middle. Then fiddle and diddle. I'm gonna diddle. Then fiddle. Then make a diddle. Fiddle. Otherwise we'll end up in a piddle. I'm sorry. I still don't get it. One more time, please! Cunt. Right. Fiddle and diddle, gonna diddle and fiddle, remove her middle. And fiddle and diddle, gonna diddle and fiddle, and make a diddle fiddle. Otherwise, we'll end up in a pedal. Just think, if you do this for her highness, and kill Snow White, and bring back her heart, she might promote you! Oh, yeah. And then I might not have to do those things that she makes me do to myself anymore. At that one time, she made me do the wheelbarrow while spooning coleslaw from my arse. Oh, he fucking hates coleslaw. I was pulling carrots out my ass for days. Oh, look, <laughs> there's another one. Come on, let's get going. We don't want to make Her Majesty angry. Let's go.